In 1996, archaeologists made one of the most baffling discoveries ever made in North America. This spear point was found in Virginia. When Bruce saw it, he was amazed. It looked identical to those discovered in France. Carbon dating showed it was buried 17,000 years ago, when archaeologists believed North America was uninhabited. It was a revelation. Could it indicate the impossible? The idea that people may have populated the New World from uh, Europe, the European continent, is, is so dramatically different from anything I was ever taught that it's, it's almost a, an unbelievable concept. For almost a century, scientists have believed that North America wasn't discovered until 12,000 years ago, when people from Asia crossed a land bridge from Russia to Alaska. But what Bruce had seen challenged the accepted theory. It was one of those sort of, no, this can't be, and yet, how can it not be? Because it's, it's there. It's right there in front of us. Had Europeans brought their technology to North America 6,000 years before anyone else? And if they had, the even tougher question facing scientists was, how? To reach North America, they would have to cross the ultimate natural barrier, the Atlantic Ocean. Armed with only Stone Age technology, was this even possible? After days away, the hunters return with only one horse. Bayorg's first responsibility is towards his family, his wife, his daughter Zia, and his eldest son, Guyan. But as the clan leader, he must share the kill with everyone. Bayorg's clan need to kill more game than this to survive. This horse will last less than a week. Bayorg knows his clan is in trouble. No part of the horse is wasted. By eating brains and eyes, they get vitamins they can't get anywhere else. And in the marrow of the bones, they find the most crucial food of all, fat. It gives them energy and warmth to survive in this freezing climate. Mm. <laughs> With full stomachs, life is good. But soon the hunger will be back. A week later, the horse meat is all but gone. Check 
Xavien Bjorg. Xavien. As the leader, Bjorg must punish the murderer. He is also the clan's shaman. He buries his finest spear points as an offering, so that the spirits might guide his decision. It is tradition among all clans to either kill or exile a murderer. Exile knows that he needs the clan to survive. Alone, his chances are slim. Come. Tell him what doing. Happy day, son. Can he eat it? The door of Kian, but do not go. Bayorg now must provide a solution to their hunger, or there will be more deaths. To Bayorg's people, this cave is the center of their spiritual world. It is sacred. As their shaman, Bayorg must make life and death decisions for the group. Here is where he makes them. Deep underground are secret chambers. There he will paint images and seek visions. He is hoping they will show him the way to end starvation in his clan. Seventeen thousand years ago, in caves across Spain and France, Ice Age clans left the most amazing record of their culture. Their art. It is a unique window into their world. They painted the animals that they depended on to survive. But these images can unlock even deeper mysteries about how the deteriorating climate was changing their lives. In Spain's Nirha cave, Bruce Bradley is literally retracing the footsteps of the ancients. Chambers in this cave could swallow a football stadium. <laughs> 